Hey, we're in the next part, so please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings, ne? I was talking about the Vashti phenomenon, and what the Vashti phenomenon is, is like what this chick, this Indian girl that I used to work with, that started working a job that she had no qualifications for, no experience for, a two-year gap prior to that sabbatical that she had taken, and then she lands in a nice little cushy intermediate to senior project management job. And everybody in the environment is like, how did you get here? And then another like unfortunate project manager that has been working for years, grinding like a dog, has to train her from scratch, the ABCs of project manage management, the nine knowledge areas, the SDLC life cycle, all that jazz you have to teach it to a person that is entering into an intermediate to senior project management job overnight having done nothing at all for two years it's called the vashti phenomenon because this chick's name was vashti i gave her the name vashti so when my cousin started working for this organization she endowed the employees the team that she was inducted into a vashti phenomenon disease Karanga guys moto a introduce a goti minyakaho omuncha ke monday o kata o kata ho qala ka di once a month or ke wednesday ka di once a month and you were like hi rinelo i gave her the name rinelo i get it's like hi rinelo welcome to the team nice to meet you i mean guys what do you do when an employee is new in a company i'm jay what do you do me now personally i'm like so where are you from where did you work before oh you were at kpmg that's nice what did you do there huh so it's kg kpmg is like hard to get into as i've heard before oh okay so like what is the like uh, 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 what is the what is the um how are the, how are the processes there in comparison to where like you know any other company that you've worked in are they mature what's going on why did you leave i'd like to know why you left i mean that's 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 the that's the icebreaker conversation that you have with a new colleague you tend to interview them as to where they came from you just want to know because you know this is your new colleague you know you want to know you want to know I've had many a conversation with colleagues who came from Vodacom, who came from Celsi, who came from Standard Bank, a lot who came from Standard Bank, and my questions were always answered with, like for instance, this one dude who came from Standard Bank, and he was working for marketing, and he was a resource in one of my projects, and um, they say his name was Pito, Petro Petratra. Petro Petratra, I was like, hi, Petro Petratra, how you doing, dude? Ah, so no se a guy proud of this. No, it was a Standard Bank, yo. Ah! For real, a bank? Oh, MT really likes banks. No, it's Uncle Teng. No, I was a segment manager for this particular department. I work for marketing. Ah, okay, I see. Why did you leave? Hey, Stabakura, you know, for banking, environment, marketing is very hard to come by. And usually when they fire people, they're the, way, the first ones to go. So I heard that MT was a, a marketing organization. So I really wanted to work for a company that's really going to thrive me within my marketing career. Ah, Petra Petra, Rabatunga. Okay, well, congratulations. We're glad to have you here. So, um, what, what have you noticed? What do you like about MTN so far? No, I really like the leg room to be able to grow. Hey, I can be like on top of that marketing department is so big. I can actually within about two or three years find myself in another space. But still within marketing. So that, that, that was a challenge that I had because I'm banking. Because I hold no, hold for branch out to take it up. I'm more MTN. I know the young someone that keep, that keep. Ah, it's nice to have they have met you, Petros and Petratra. Well, one thing I'm pretty sure of, Gam the banker is that their processes are very mature so maybe you can teach us a few lessons about our processes because more who fly and the flying kicks all over the show so with that two side get a petro sepetratra yeah no sure of course <laughs> of course you know bring my two cents worth anything to help sure petro sepetratra see you see you can lunch boy <laughs> that that is an interview that you give to a new dude that you meet and they have a hotel says a lot of guys what's a lot of guys mtn hey now imagine interviewing petro sepetratra as well, go sabbatical in two years. And the previous job that he had, now that he's a segment manager at MTN, was sending out pamphlets. Go molo. It's a marketing. Within the digital marketing space. And now Petro Petratra, ki segment manager go MTN. Here's Carabo. Hi, Petro Petratra. No, hi, Nunda Ninja, dude. Hi. What's your name? Petro Petratra. Okay, yeah, sure. Like, Petro Petratra, okay, sure. So, like, Petro Petratra, um, where did you work before this? Oh, uh, no, actually, you know, I, like, uh, I was actually in a two-year sabbatical because, like, my dad died, and I just was, like, grieving, so I was actually unemployed during that time. Oh, I see. Okay, but I'm not only busy, maybe freelancing or studying. No, no, I was just, like, chilling at home, just two years young. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, and then before then, no, it's like Petro Petrat. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, as an administrator for this one digital marketing firm, and every so often I send out my pamphlets outside the Edgars. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I can see how you're in marketing. boy. Like a taboo history that makes you wonder. Yo, long genganjani in this job. Lime seven z now. Okay, okay. And then next thing, Petra se Petratra is endured. You get endured through the futility as a seasoned specialist or a um, manager in marketing. You then get endured through the futility of having to train. Petra se Petratra. The product life cycle. Marketing 101. Digital marketing 101. Like you waiting in theory and practice. Oh, do the everyday go desking. Taking two, three hours out of your work day. Ho bonsadi systems. Ho muruta textbook marketing first. Before you can even do practical marketing. Petro se petratra. Wena o sebelize like ninja dog. Blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you're at. And here's Petro se petratra. Got two years of medical because I'm not going to have a This chick took a two years of medical because her. She got married. And she wanted to be happy in marriage in the first two years of her marriage. For pre- prior to that, mega is some strange job. And she quit it because she was annoyed with her boss. You know, you just walk out of a job. Some people struggle to ever find a job again when they do that. I know this chick landed two years later comfortably in a very senior job. Mm-hmm. That's what happened with this cousin of mine. She was the version of Petrose Petratra. What two years sabbatically on a hand out to the pamphlet de Komolo. And now she was practically running the department. God showed me there was a woman there. And indeed, in my company, there was also a woman. She was actually very close to me. Uh, a black a black chick that could not stand this girl and refused to help her. Um, because of the fact that... I ended up being the one to train her. Because nobody else wanted to take it up on themselves. Because nobody understood why they uh, they have to train a project manager from scratch. It's an intern. It's a graduate. Mara, yeah, an intermediate to senior project manager with no experience. We're not dealing with an intern here. That it's okay, fine, you can shadow me, come to my meetings and see what I do. We are dealing with the moon that should already be hitting the ground running. Instead, see, I'm trainer from scratch. Yo, guys, God showed me there was a woman in the organization that looked at my cousin after interviewing her. Hi, Renee, how are you? Okay. Nice to meet you. Hey, okay, so um, where are you from? No, I mean, like, where did you work before? I used to work for ABC. Oh, okay, cool. So what did you do there? DEF. Oh, really? Okay, and? QRS. Okay, so what do you know about our organization and what we do, our value proposition? Just our general product. What do you know about what we do? What do you know about architecture? You know that example that I made about coming from project management, nesting you're the chief architect, and then you have another dude that is on a similar level to, not a, yeah, a similar level to you. Like another chief architect, but for a different branch of the organization. And this chief architect uh, lady then asks you, so, okay, you come from a completely different industry. Well, but what do you know about architecture? Where did you get your architectural degree? Who, well, what kind of drawing um, techniques do you know? What organizations have you worked with? Uh, can, wh- wh- what is, how, well, what is your opinion concerning methods um, of employing, you know, our architectural strategy for this kind of uh, institution, this kind of um environment and this chick was like the thing is because that's the thing about this chick or lewa vashti wako mtn she literally rocked up and said are you going to train me she admitted she had no project management experience at all so chikida likely like was also like you know truth is I don't really know very much about architecture, but I'm very excited to be here because our boss just seems to so happen to think that I am in a position to be chief architect because he saw in me some kind of potential. I can understand that an intern saying, a boss saw in the a potential in me, even though I don't have prior experience in architecture, but I'm starting out in the architectural field as an intern. So even though I did not study architecture at Vids, but I'm Ruta from scratch because somebody saw potential because I can draw well and they will take me through school. I can take that in my stride if you an intern but not when you're the chief architect on that day it's like what kind of rubbish is this that's the thing about these people in the occult by as a keeper i'm pressed to pee again i'll be back in the next